Welcome citizens, Chedarius here. This is Frugal Citizen. Smooth track head tracking for ten dollars. Now look. <clears throat> uh everyone wants like all the best equipment for this game. It does matter a little bit. I think things like uh head tracking uh, dual joysticks, you know, if you have dual VKB joysticks or verples or whatever, it does give you a little bit of an edge. Not a huge amount, but it, it it's, it's great for immersion. Voice attack, same thing. Great immersion, lots of fun. Um, and uh, some of these things are inexpensive and add a lot uh, and some of them are expensive and add some um, I think um, I, I usually kind of err on you know something that can have a good impact on the game that's inexpensive um, and you know when I look at like Toby eye tracking $250? Not gonna happen. It doesn't add enough to the game to spend $250. Um, in fact, I'm just gonna turn off my head tracking. Wow, it still looks great. I can just turn my ship if I need to. Look at that. So look, it does improve a few things in the game. It's a little bit easier to track uh, targets. Um, it's great for landing and, uh, you know, being able to fly around landmarks and things like that. But, you know, it's not going to make you an ace pilot by getting it. But it's fun and it's cool. So, uh, what's another option? Track IR. Track IR. $170. Sorry, I still don't have $170 to spend on functionality like this. Now, you can uh, actually turn on free head tracking in-game, right, with uh, uh, with faith, uh, facewear, uh, but it is going to eat up like 10% of your CPU. Uh, I mean, it depends on the CPU that you got, but on mine... It eats, it eats up a lot. It takes away from your frames per second, and it uh, um, it can really slow down the game. And uh, what Smooth Track does, that I think is fantastic, is that it puts the most of the processing of uh, the head tracking onto your phone, and it's just sending X, Y, Z coordinates. That's all it's doing over the network to uh, your computer. So it actually um, keeps your game very speedy, keeps your CPU free, and it does a lot um, in game for immersion purposes and, and fun. So uh, what you need to do is you need to download uh, and install SmoothTrack on your phone. It's on Android, it's on iPhone, um, you can get more information at smoothtrack.app I'll put a link in the description um, it tells you how to install what to do and how to install it um, one of the other things that will tell you to install is the um, open track app which is an open source app that uh, does uh, head tracking We'll get into the configuration of that in a little bit. There's two um, caveats that you need to think about. Whether you're using the very free but CPU intensive um, face over IP tracking in Star Citizen, or whether you're using Smooth Track, you need to have okay lighting. You don't have to have perfect lighting. <laughs> it just has to be bright enough to see your face. Um, and probably the better lighting you have, the better it can track your face. Um, 
so you can't play this in the dark. The Smooth Track app does have a, a button that you can press that will um, make a kind of a white screen to light up your face a little bit. I don't think that that's enough. I did not have a problem when I had the lights on in my room where I played uh, for it to pick up my face. Um, but I do have um, an LED light that's clipped above my monitor, um, and uh, I use that for face over IP um, to capture my, you know, my my lips and, and uh, facial features. Um, and it, you really need it for that. For head tracking, it's not as much. Um, and then phone placement. Phone placement is another one. You know, you can't have it like way off to the side. <clears throat> you can have it a little bit off to the side, a little bit higher, a little bit lower, and it and it works fine. Um, so you know, you don't have to have it dead center at all. Um, my phone is directly to the right of my laptop screen that I'm sitting in front of, and below the monitor that I um, have hooked up externally to my laptop where I'm playing, you know, where I play the game. So, um, I just gotta, um, you know, some people can just lead it up against their monitor, bottom of their monitor, and that works great as long as it can see your face and it's kind of, you know, uh, your face is centered in there. Um, uh, by the way, let me, um, here, just, just so you have a, a, a reference here. That is a uh, picture of the app on my phone. So you can see my, my face is centered in the in the picture there. And it's, you know, it's coming at it from an angle, but it's not a huge angle. Um, and uh, that's the IP address of my laptop. And it's just sending the data over the network. Okay. So, um, those are the two caveats. Um, I'm going to go through how I've got it set up. Um, I'm going to stop it. In order to look at the configurations, you have to stop and start it. Uh, uh, UDP over network. Um, that's how it's getting the data from my phone. Output is free track. So, um, Star Citizen thinks, I'll show you right here, Star Citizen thinks that this is Track IR. And so, that's what I've got it set to. Um, so, when you have this set to Free Track 2.0 Enhanced, that's what it's going to output as. Um, you can see there's other there's other things that you can do here. You can actually just have it set as a joystick you know, uh, for other games. Um, and the filter I use is just Excella. There's other filters. That one seems to work fine for me. By default, <coughs> it comes with this default.any. And when I first tried it out, I did not like it at all. It did not work well. This default is... I do not recommend using it. Uh, I will put links to two... Uh, two profiles you can use. SmoothTrack IL-2 is one that I found uh, from someone that uh, plays the IL-2 uh, sim that they made for... Um, open track and once I tried that I was like oh this is how it's supposed to work <laughs> and then I kind of looked at how they did things and I customized it a little bit more and I made one called Starsys and dot any um, that works for me in the options I've got center at startup enable in tray and minimize to tray on startup when enabled so it just kind of loads in the background and I don't see it and it works um, <clears throat> I have a center <coughs> and restart tracking both bound to the uh, numpad star key which is the same thing that 
uh, Star Citizen is bound to default with uh, resetting your uh, your head tracking and stuff. So it, it does all three at once. Output, I am not doing anything here at all. Um, all right, everything checks out. Oh, thanks. Thanks, I'm free to go. Uh, no changes in this relative transition came to... Oh, no. Now someone's doing something. I'm going to have to keep an eye out here. Uh, game detection. I just, uh, you know, say, hey, when Star Citizen is unloaded. Oh, thanks, security. You did your job for once. Um, Star Citizen.exe is loaded. Then it loads my any file. So it just basically configures itself. I'm pretty sure these are all the defaults for uh, smoothing and for dead zone. You can adjust them. In dead zone, if you make it bigger, um, just kind of makes it so that you're, you know, if you move your head a little bit, it, it doesn't move it on the, on the screen. But it kind of feels like, like you, it's stuck, you know, and you've got to kind of yank your head in order to, to get it to work. So I keep it pretty low. Um, as far as mappings go, this is where, you know, this is just like setting a, a, a joystick curve or whatever. The things to, the things that are different is, is that the max input, which I've got set at, at 45 degrees here, like you don't want this one-to-one -one with your head. This isn't VR. Um, and this is one of the things that takes a little bit of getting used to, right? Is that if I set this to 180 degrees, you know, this is like, me, that's me like looking all the way to my left and all the way to my right. And if I look all the way to my left and all the way to my right, I can't see the screen. <laughs> so you don't even want this at 90 degrees again, because, you know, 180 degrees is actually, that's like 360, because it's 180 degrees to the left and 180 degrees to the right. 90 degrees is actually 180 degrees uh, field right 90 to the left 90 to the right so 45 is basically 90 degrees forward you know from the from the middle um you know a bit of a cone shall we say and so you can look at the left part of the monitor you can look at the right part of the monitor and uh, move your head that way and still see everything on the screen and then i like to have it a little bit more sensitive um within a, a smaller cone on the screen and then um you know get a little bit faster farther out um and so that's that's how i've got it set uh same exact thing with pitch so pitch and yaw are basically the same um uh, now one of the differences here with uh, pitch um is that um you can actually set what the max output is versus the max input in yaw can see here that the maximum <clears throat> is 180 so I've set the pitch to be the same and so this feels basically the same when I'm moving my head up and down when am I moving my head left and right um, I've got the same tracking same feeling um, roll I have nothing I do not use roll um, in this game it, it doesn't make any sense to me so, um, X and Y stuff are not set, but Z is set. <clears throat> um, and this is a distance thing. Uh, so I've got it set to 15 centimeters, you know, back and forth um, on, on how I move my head. And these are, it's estimating these things on the, on the, on the phone app. Um, and then the output, however, is 100 centimeters. So, I, I, you know can we adjust these sure so um again i have got it set so that it's pretty l low before I, you know i have to lean in and um uh this this basically lets you move your head forward and and uh, zoom in on something on the screen a little bit so it's handy for reading an mfd if you need to lean in a little bit uh so i'm gonna start this up 
Uh, I'm gonna minimize it. I'm gonna start up the app on my phone. <coughs> and there we go. So, yeah, so if I wanna look at uh, my uh, comms here, I can just, uh, I can lean in a little bit. I can lean back out. I can, I can see everything around my ship with a little bit of head movement. And then, uh, you know, I could look all the way uh, backwards a little bit that way, uh, backwards a little bit that way. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it, it works great. Ten dollars. You know, um, don't have Starbucks twice next week. Problem solved. Um, if you've got any comments, uh, improvements, if you know of other apps that do the same thing that you like, I'd love to hear about them. Um, if, uh, if you find a better configuration that works for you, I'd also love to hear about it. You know, if you want to share it, share it. Uh, comments. Uh, join the Discord. Links in the description, along with all the other links for everything that I talked about today. And um, we'll see you in the verse. Have a good one. Bye.